So you just kind of looking at your season so far, how would you assess how it's gone for you personally, do you feel like? Um, you know, pretty good, obviously, some ups and downs. Um, I think the first half I was scoring a lot more and uh, just getting a lot more chances. But, um, you know, right now I think I'm starting to kind of get back to that offensive style. I've had a few chances the last couple of games, just haven't scored. Um, but I think all in all, it's, it's been pretty good. Uh, I've learned a lot this year defensively, I'm trying to take more pride in the D zone. Um, so I think, uh, you know, I think all in all, it's been pretty good. We talked around the All-Star game, you obviously playing banged up, mm -hmm. and you're still playing banged up. Mm -hmm. um, just what has that been like for you, that, that experience, and how, how much of an impact has that had on your, your play, do you feel like? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely an adjustment. You don't want to... Uh, you don't want it to have an impact on your play, but there's definitely times I'm conscious of it throughout the game, and um, you know I'm kind of thinking of things, how to avoid certain situations and, and stuff like that. But it's just finding a way to play through it, uh, trying to help the team win, whatever I can. Um, you know, I don't want to go out there and you know have that in the back of my mind where maybe I make a mistake or, or do something to hurt this team. So it's just trying to find ways to, to fight through it and play through it. But it's definitely an adjustment. Obviously, you learned a lot of stuff your rookie year. Is this a new thing for you to have, kind of have to deal with? Um, you know, with so many games the rest of the year. Yeah, for sure. Um, I've been dealing with this, you know, for a long time this season. So it's, it's one of those things where I think a lot of guys in this league battle through injuries throughout seasons and uh, just find ways to work through them when I'm learning at a young age right now. So it's, uh, I think it'll be a good thing in the long run. Have you talked to, New I mean, you and New Year close, you saw what he went through last mm -hmm. year. Have you guys talked about that? Yeah, a little bit. We sit next to each other in the locker room, so we talk uh, quite a bit. We always ask each other how we're doing, and, you know, he asked me quite a bit how I'm doing. So I just ask him questions. Um, you know, I talk to a lot of guys here. Got a lot of guys, you know, that have been banged up in the past and in their careers and have fought through it. So I'm not the only one that's done it. It's just uh, it's just an adjustment. Adjustment. Is that one of those things that, you know, about the NHL that, that most people don't really realize is that, that everybody's hurt. Everybody's banged up, you know, and, and if you're injured, you're really injured. If you're hurt, you're just... Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think a lot of times when people watch games, they don't really realize what guys are going through or what they're playing through. I think they think you know it's everyone's 100 percent every single night, but that's really not the case. It's uh, it's a long season, it's a grind. Our bodies take a lot of beating, so um, there's a lot of guys that you know on other teams that we probably don't even know are banged up or injured, but they're playing through it too. So I think that's one thing a lot of people don't really realize when they watch games. Is that a surprise to you too as a young guy when you first came in here? That, like how you probably knew <coughs> from playing college mm -hmm. at a high level, but. At this level, was it even a little bit different? Yeah, for sure. It's a job now. So guys are going to go out there and try and perform their job. And, you know, if, if they can't play, then they're really injured, like you said. So it's uh, it's definitely different. You know, it's it's a good thing, I think. I think it builds character. And like I said, in the long run, I think it'll help me. But it's definitely an adjustment period trying to play when, when you are banged up. Did, go ahead. Oh, a really spirited practice today. You know, mm -hmm. had some fun with the games there. Is that something you feel like you guys need or benefit from coming off last night? Yeah, I think we played really well last night. Um, we found a way to lose, but I think you know, all in all, we played a really solid game. If we play like that for the rest of the year, we're going to be on the right side of a lot of games. So uh, today to come in here and have that practice was awesome for us. I think it just, you know, it, we had some fun. It was enjoyable coming to the rink, and especially after a tough loss like we had last night, it was just good to get the spirits up and uh, kind of get focused and then back on track for Friday. Have you ever had a loss like that before in your career, like in college or high school, where it's like last second there was a gut punch and maybe you guys reacted a different way in, on that team? Um, you know, I, I I don't know. It's it's tough. You know, that game last night, I think we played so well. It's I don't think I've ever had a game where we've played so well and I felt like we had a ton of chances and just haven't, you know, haven't found ways to win like last night. Last night was... I thought we were playing well, some playing some of our best hockey. We were playing hard. We were reloading. We were getting shots and chances. We weren't really scoring too much, but we get a late goal there to tie it up, and then for them to score with 43 seconds left, you know, it, it really hurts. So, not even to get one point. But um, today was good. Get back on track and get ready for Friday. What does that say about your resilience, though, as a team? That, that you guys are here. I don't see anybody hanging their heads or, or you know, kind of speaking low or anything like that. You know? Yeah, I mean, it's that time of the year right now. It's you know, every every game matters. Every point matters, and. If we're going to dwell on last game, I don't think we'll be ready for Friday. So it's just kind of to forget about it and move forward. I just feel fortunate given kind of the, the mediocre way you guys have played the last month or two to be in the position you're in given like the red. No one seems to be like grabbing these last couple spots. You feel like you're fortunate and it's time to do it yourself. Yeah, you know, I think that's the best part about it is we kind of control our own destiny here. We're in a good spot. We have a lot of Metro games coming up. It just kind of depends on how we play and what we're going to do. 
Um, you know, I wouldn't have it any other way. I want to go against the Metro right now. I think for us, it's it's huge. Every game's important. So, um, you know, I think for us to, to be where we are and play the way we've played, we're in a pretty fortunate spot right now. This is different for you guys this year too. Last year it was just a matter of positioning where you were going to finish. This year it's a little bit more, a little, yeah. a little more dicey. Yeah, definitely. Last year at this time we were cruising into the playoffs, so it's a little bit different this year. But um, you know, I think what is it? Eight points separates us in Washington right now. Um, so our, the Metro's tight. I think a lot of things will change by now and the end of the year. So it should be interesting.